What age were you when you first decided that you were going to become a gym owner? What made you decide, I want to own a, I want to own a gym and have all the headaches that go along with owning a gym? <laughs> yeah. Um, 2019, when I bought this one. Wow. Um, okay. Now, I, I always wanted one um, all the way back to, I'm going to say probably 97, 98. So I got out of the military in 97. And uh, I, I joined a gym back then. It was called Power Station. It's in Middletown, Ohio. It's still there. Um, uh, it was it was a very much a hardcore gym, dirt on the floor, like you know older equipment and stuff like that. Like a really cool place. Like I would want to go, mm -hmm. but the average person you would never go in there. Um, I wanted a gym back then, but when I started to look into how much it costs, because I think people don't really realize how expensive these things are. Like. For instance, one 90 pound set of dumbbells is 225 bucks. Mm -hmm. That's for one set of dumbbells. You know, and there's, I think we have 45 sets at each gym. Jeez. So, I mean, the dumbbells is, you know, and, and that's just one thing. Right. So, when you're, you know, in your mid 20s, looking at, you know, half a million to a million dollars to set up a gym, that's not happening. Yep. Not to mention, banks hate gyms, just like they hate restaurants, mm. so you can't get them financed. Everything that uh, my wife and I have done up to this point has been out of pocket. We have no financing. Everything oh, is wow. paid for 100%. Excuse me. Um, so it's been bootstrapping it the whole way. DuPont was $1.8 million. For um, everything just to build it. Oh, yeah, just, just, to build just it. to build it and outfit it. Yeah. So everything. Yes, okay. you're correct. Okay. Um, when it was built. So if you look at that as an example, that's a 20,000 square foot big box gym mm -hmm. at 1.8 million back in 2011 is when they built that. Wow. You know, in today's money, that's probably what, two and a half? Yeah, at you least. Know, it's expensive. Yeah. So the prospect of doing that for the average person isn't going to happen. And me, when I was in my 20s, wasn't going to happen. So in 2019, we had an opportunity. Um, Spies was falling apart. Um, and, you know, Tom Spies, who was a friend of mine, um, known him for years, uh, did pass away, unfortunately. Oh, wow. But prior to that, he was going through a bankruptcy, okay, going through financial hard times. Um, what time was this, 08? Or? Uh, this would have been 2000 and... I think it started in 17. Okay. So, and pretty much by 19, we knew that he, he was going to lose the building. We didn't know who was going to buy it. We had no idea what they were going to do with that gym. And honestly, Spice was my gym. That was my home gym. Mm -hmm. So it was big. It was great. You know, I loved it. The equipment was very old and broken most of the time, but it was still a big space. Mm -hmm. And the pandemic didn't help. Not at all. Not at all. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So in 19, I got introduced to the owner of Max Fitness. Um, he was going bankrupt as well. So being very central to the bodybuilding community, if Max closes and Spies closes, where are we all going to work out? Mm -hmm. I mean, that literally the only thing I thought. So when I said 2019 was when I decided, you know, I wanted to become a gym owner, it was almost a force of I have to, because mm -hmm. otherwise we have the why and Planet Fitness. Right. That's about it. So we decided to jump in. Um, we looked at buying Spies. Uh, at the time, there was over $8 million in cost renovations and um, code violations that had to be brought up to code. Uh, we That's not going to happen. For $8 right. million, I can build a really nice building and have yeah. a really nice gym. Brand new. Right. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I'm out. Um, then we went to the Max Fitness deal. That was a much better deal. Cashed in all of our 401k, leveraged our house, um, all three of them. Um, wow. And decided we're going to go all in on this thing.